Okay, I'm now going to show you how we can easily convert um, a Spectrum game to the Amstrad CPC in multi-platform arcade game designer. Now what we're going to do um, here is we're going to take an existing Spectrum game and there are hundreds of those. So um, if you look under the file menu on MPAGD you should see two options, import game from tape and import game from snapshot. Uh, and using either of these options you should be able to import an existing ZX Spectrum game and convert it to other formats. So, let's give it a go shall we? Now I have a lot of snapshots on this um, PC so we'll import a game from a snapshot and let's take a look at Apulia, which is Alessandro's game. Okay, so if we take a look at that now, and that's imported it, we should be able to see the screens there Spectrum screens should be very familiar to anyone who's played this game. If we change the machine, however, to another format, the Amstrad, you can see it's generated placeholder graphics for us. Now, the Amstrad has a different resolution. Obviously, the graphics aren't going to be the same. MPAGD does the best it can, but it's not going to look perfect. Um, so you are going to have to edit the graphics yourself. Um, and that's always a good idea. Nobody on the CPC scene really wants to see a Spectrum game ported without changes to the graphics. So um, let's just um, have a quick bash at that. Um, let's have a look. Sprite Zero. Let's change the player's helmet to red. Now if we fill in all these pixels. I really ought to write a fill routine for this, it would be so much quicker. I'll have to put that on the to-do list. Okay, that's two sprites done, two to go. I'm sure Alessandro would have made a much better job of this than myself, but still, this is just for demonstration purposes. So there we have, oop, we've missed one, the last frame. So the first four sprites now have red helmets, so that's the player sprite. Now, another consequence of the um, different resolution on the CPC is the font will not display correctly. Um, now, this is a, an 8x8 font for the Spectrum, but the Amstrad only uses uh, the first uh, five pixels on the left, so basically we need to change the font over to um, the CPC's font like that. That's how the CPC will look. You see the character A there? The see they'll fit nicely inside the 5x8 grid for the CPC. Um, next, the other thing we'll have to do is we need to go to the player event. Now, unfortunately, the Amstrad, as I say, has a different screen resolution. So when we're checking for the edges of the screen, we need to use left edge and right edge. So if X is less than left edge, let x equal right edge, ditto for the other way, if x is greater than right edge, let x equal left edge, so that should have the player moving um, left and right from one screen to the other. Um, so let's save that and come out of there. Now. If we export the source code, uh, we've got a that's created an assembler listing for us. So if we bring up the WinApe assembler, we should be able to open Appleia.asm, and that's our assembly file. So if we Go to WinApe and clear the space for the game. Memory 1999. We 
Control F9 to build that, and that's built with no errors. So now we start the game with call 2000. And there you have it. Apulia 13 running on the Amstrad CPC.